Guys, it's uh sunset GT time. Sunset GT time, yes. I'm just gonna insert these clips just randomly inside, okay. inside the video. Sunset GT time. <laughs> As Jesse was saying, I'm so tired, dude. <laughs> I know, me too. Man. I, I, I can't. I can't. I'm like, like barely moving. No, I can't get that across on camera. Uh, <laughs> Jesse's over here, obviously over here in LA still. It is what Sunday morning. Early -ish. Um, yeah, early ish. We didn't get like the really early cars and coffee, but we're gonna go hit up Sunset GT, which is up on the Sunset Strip, Sunset Boulevard, like it kind of in uh, beneath the Hollywood Hills. And as you can see, we are all in our uh, beautiful Los Angeles home. And uh, our main objective for Sunset GT, okay, obviously is to see cool cars, but we actually do have an objective, okay. Jesse, I was telling you about this earlier. There's a three turbo McLaren. I'm sure some of you guys have heard about it before. Uh, it's a triple turbo McLaren that a company called Hyper... Fuck, that's a really bad... <laughs> Cut! Cut! <laughs> that a company called Hypercar Development makes, uh, and we've been exchanging emails with Thad, uh, one of the guys over there, and he's going to be taking a customer's car over to Sunset GT, so basically, our goal is to find Thad. Just you paying attention? Yeah. Very important. We're gonna find that, we're gonna find the triple turbo McLaren, we're gonna see if we can hook up a shoot with that car to drive that car and bring it to you guys. So, fingers crossed, this is uh, this is kind of a behind the scenes video because like we don't know if we can film the car yet, so we might just meet that and things might not work out, but let's go check out some dope cars. All right. All right, um, Jesse, Sunset GT. Sunset GT. Sunset motherfucking GT. Yes. <laughs> I've already seen like three cars that I've never seen in my entire life before. Uh, uh, yeah, same. I'm well on my way to see the fourth too. So this is basically like right in the heart of Beverly Hills. It happens like I think it's once every month. As you can see, everybody comes out. You know, all the all the money is here. <laughs> Got you just in time. Perfect job. Great. All right, you guys, we are at Sunset GT right now on Sunset Boulevard. Just hopped in with Thad from Hypercar Development. How you doing? 
This is a good day, man. Oh, this is an amazing day. Good, good we could uh, link up and uh, you're driving a customer's triple turbo McLaren, is that correct? No, this is just one of the 800s. This so, is the 800 package, yeah. okay. So it's not one of the triple turbo builds, but it's definitely very fast. 700 plus wheel horsepower. Wow, yeah. About 820, 830 crank. Now, does this is this upgraded turbos or? No, we do stock turbos on the 800 systems, coolant system upgrade, full race exhaust. This one's a catless exhaust, so intake upgrade, yep. race air filters, tuning, of course. Um, this has our, our wheels on it, so bill of aluminum race wheels. Yes. Uh, 79 pounds for the set. Comparison, P1 wheels are 78 and a half pounds. For the no set. way, really. Okay. Design our own wheels in house, uh, five axis machining. We do a lot of private label wheel production. So, is that something when a customer comes to you and say, says, okay, they want an 800 package, it's basically like built to spec, say, if they want wheels, if they want the wider track in the back? Yeah, we stick thing. to the McLaren brand quite a bit in how right. they do things. So, we try to do bespoke, bespoke style offering, you know. And, they can do wheels, they can do, you know, LT conversions. We can make a 12C look like a 675. Yes. Yeah. Do, uh, you know, act aerodynamically functional P1 hood. So not only do a P1 hood, they actually do a carbon fiber tunnel. Right, okay, yeah. Inside of it that has heat exchangers for Oh, there it is. <laughs> there are so, like, it's, how many times have you been to this event? Uh, this is the first time I've been to Sunset GT. It's okay. insane. That blew my mind. I've, I've never oh, seen yeah. so many like 720s's and uh, what? Well, there's probably four or five 720s's. It's the most performantes together in the world ever. I think there's like 11 to 15 of them today. Yeah. Doctor M3, Cody put that together. Wow, all right. Wait, so this is a 12C, correct? Right. 12C, okay. So I'm looking at the back compared to a stock 12C back end, yeah. and the exhaust is completely different. Is that? It's, we do different styles. So this is a 675 style, it's the dual cannons. Yes, right. Uh, we also do center cannons, so it's like a P1 GTR. Okay. We do single center exit, so it's like a P1. No way, okay. We've had guys ask us to do the exhaust come out the armadillo cover. Um, I mean, this is already a, a very audible experience. <laughs> you hear the turbo spool in that short little pull. That's probably like 10% throttle, but the turbo spool, like right there, that's ridiculous. Well, another bit is when you have very steep let off throttle. You hear the intake up there, so that wasn't a good one. But you hear the flutter. Of the oh yeah, so you don't hear that the stock restricted air box. Yes. To, to increase that. shake the entire car it only hits in that particular spot yeah but with yeah. the mono cell you get the feedback and you know right when you're on the edge of the track so we get that additional power with it i mean this guy you know it can chase down some serious supercars oh yes i would i would believe that 100 percent. i mean especially the uh you know whatever na cars like a performante and stuff like that that are still na aventadors and whatnot well not only that i mean we've we've had this track up against the one and it, it's close you yeah know, it, yeah the you know, p1 will outperform it but you're talking for 40 little 40 grand on a hundred thousand dollar car you can keep up with a two million dollar car right? yeah so so this one's got louvered front fenders it's got a different style front bumper the wing is aftermarket so yeah we do big carbon fiber modifications interior so you can see this is aftermarket steering wheel yeah um, we've done color matching into your volcano red carbon fiber uh, on some cars. You know, basically any color carbon fiber you want on the interior. So it's it's not just it's just a lot of aesthetics. Yes, absolutely. So you hear that? That's yes. the traction control kicking in. Oh, okay, so, yeah. 
Yeah, that's yeah. what is also unique, especially on our big builds, is we still use the factory ECU, so that traction control technology from McLaren, their dynamic brake steer that they have, that allows you to kick ass on the road course, dynamic panel, all that's still functional. Yes. Just yeah. extra power. Oh, hey, there's RDB. <laughs> Should we just turn around? Yeah, sure. Yeah, whatever. totally livable it's comfortable like yeah I'd say that's about as much fun as you can have uh, in LA yeah now you got traffic <laughs> yes can't really do anything else yeah go to Sunset GT stop at a few red lights and then get your adrenaline fix one time and then two miles on the highway yes that's all you got for you traffic yeah that's it still getting used to all the traffic and stuff here in LA but so happy we're here and got to meet up with that from hypercar development um, yeah, hopefully we can do something in the future. Uh, yeah. Whether we're on your side of uh, your side of the country or over here, to try a boost car. Yeah, absolutely. Look out for more LA videos. Uh, obviously, Sunset GT is like one of the biggest, uh, I guess, gatherings, cars and coffee events in the country. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick video. Go check out Hypercar Development, absolutely, uh, and we'll see you very soon.